Hello. Today I am going to show you how to use HTTP GET in Tasker to get information from websites. For this lesson, I'm going to show you how to get the weather information. Links will be provided in the description. Type HTTP colon double forward slash www.wunderground.com forward slash API forward slash in your browser. Click enter. Click on the search icon. Then enter your city name and click on search. A new page will open with your city weather information. Copy the link for this page, or do not close it. You need to enter this page link in Tasker. Notice that your zip code is in this link. Open Tasker. Create a new project by tapping on Home. Give it a name, something like, Talking Weather. Create a new task, and give it a me. For this part, it is better to be using a laptop. You are going to extract information from websites, using variables. Open that web page, the one that has your zip code in the link. In Tasker, click the plus. Then select net, and choose HTTP GET. Copy the link address from the browser. All of it included zip code and port numbers. Take care and make sure it exactly copied to the top line in Tasker. Nothing else need to be changed here for this project, but if you want to save the information to a file on your phone, then you can scroll down and enter a file name. Click the back arrow. And click the plus sign. Select variables and choose variable set. This variable will have all the information from the web page. Give it a name, call it weather underscore get. And the W is capitalized. Set it to HTTP data, which is a task a preset variable.
Click the back arrow. On the city web page again. Click Ctrl plus the letter U at the same time. So you can view the page source. In this section, in the source view, you will see everything that is on the web page. Look for the information that you came after. In this example my weather information is listed in the middle, after the word, content equals. The word, content equals, will be the splitter. And there is a lot of content equals on this page, I only need one of the contents. So after task I split the information on the web page, I can select the one that has my weather information. Go back to tasker, click the plus sign. And select variables and choose variable split. Find the variable you just set up weather underscore get, and set it to content equals. Click the back arrow, and I am going to click the play button to see the infos I got so far. Click the back arrow. And tap on the variable tab to see the variables. As you can see, Tasker grabbed all the information that was listed after, content equals, it listed them under weather underscore get one, weather underscore get two etc. The one that I want is weather underscore get seven. But, in that variable, there is still information that I do not want. There are three section, city name, temperature and weather state, and, each one has other letters, that I want to take out. They are also divided by a pipe. A pipe looks like a capital I. So, I am going to use another variable split to divide weather underscore get 7 into 3 variables using the pipe as a splitter. Click the plus sign. Select variables, and choose variable split. Scroll down the list of variables, weather underscore get 7. And the splitter is the pipe. You can find it in most keyboards by clicking 1, 2, 3 on bottom left, and then a half key. Click the back arrow. Then the play button. To see your work and also, to split the variables. Click the variable tab on top. If you scroll down, you will see that we have created three new child variables to the weather underscore get seven variable, tasker called them, weather underscore get seven one, weather underscore get seven two and weather underscore get seven three. Hang in with me, we are almost done. Just two more steps to go. Weather underscore get seven one only has the city name, which is good. Weather underscore get 72, has the temperature plus other letters. Same with weather underscore get 73. Click on the plus sign and select variables, and choose variable section. Enter the variable name. Weather underscore get 72, leave, from, at 1, because in my temperature if, there is no junk before it only behind it. And for the length, enter the number of letters you want to keep, in my case I am keeping the first five letters. Click the back button. Next, we are going to do the weather underscore get 73, which holds the weather status, 
example cloudy, rainy, etc. as we did a minute ago. Click the plus sign. Select variables. Then choose variable section, and enter the weather underscore get 73, in the variable name. Or select it from the list. Again, leave the from, on 1, and the length set it to 10. And click the back button. Click the play button. You can click on the variable tab to see the values of the variables you've just created. I am going to test my work by adding a flash at the end of the task. In the text area, enter weather underscore get 72 and weather underscore get 73. Click the back arrow. Then click the play button. Press and hold on the flash line, and select cut, from the top menu. Click the plus sign, select alert, then choose say. In the text area enter. The temperature is percent weather underscore get 72 degrees and percent weather underscore get 73. Sorry about that, I almost dropped the phone. Click the back button. What can you do with this? You can add a time profile so this action can be activated in the morning. I am going to add it to my talking clock. It will speak the time and the weather every hour. And here is how to create a profile with time context to start this action. Click the Profile tab on top. Click the plus sign and give it a name. Select Time, and choose the From, and the Until, and how often you want this action to repeat. Then click the back arrow. Choose the task we've just finished, I think we called it weather.